Alright, for real, I'm dropping it. Yo. So. So. It's your boy, Depo the OG. And, um. Here's my face reveal. Official face reveal. So, um. Yeah, this is. Um, I honestly don't know what to say because this is like my first time ever talking to like a camera on one of my videos. But yeah, um, yep, this is B. And in case you want to know, what my real name is um, my real name is uh, Justice Allen. Those are just my first and last names. I'm not telling you my middle name because um, yeah. But yeah, anyways, um, if you want some background, um, I'm African American, no duh, and um, I'm 14 years old as of right now, and um, uh, I like video games, anime, and um, yeah, I make videos and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's just get to the point where like uh. Most of y'all came from uh, the Q&A video. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be doing a Q&A. This is like a... Oh, yeah, by the way, um, this isn't my real house. I'm actually at my grandparents' house. Uh, I'm actually out of town currently as I'm recording this. But, um, like, around Friday, uh, where I'm at, um, we should probably be, like, um, coming back, uh, going back to my house. But, yeah, just so you know, uh, this is my house and this is my bed. It's actually my grandpa's bed. Rest in peace. But anyways, uh, on to the Q&A. All right, first question is from one of my close friends on both YouTube and Discord, Darling Kyo. And his question is, why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food? Out hot, eat the food. And I honestly don't even know how to respond to that question. <clears throat> Next. All right. Another one of my close friends, uh, Cats the Harbinger, or as he's known on Discord as Friendly Neighborhood Cats, uh, he said, since you have all 800 subs, where are you going to put them all? <clears throat> That's a pretty good answer from you, Cats. And um, I actually have a pretty good answer for that. All right, so uh, you see this vault right here? That's where I keep all my subs at. Vault. Oh. Damn. Damn camera. Oh. Yeah, you see this vote right here? Yeah. That's where I keep all my subs at. I'm locking all my 800 subs in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, thank you guys for 800 subs. That's why I'm doing this whole thing, by the way. Thanks for that. All right. Here's another question from my friend, Darlinkio. He said, if you would describe yourself in a quote, what would it be? You know what? Now that you mentioned them, I do have the perfect quote for that. And uh, here's the quote right here. I regret nothing. I really hope that I actually edited in the original quote thing. So um this won't so it won't look awkward, but yeah. That quote is I regret nothing from the postal series, which is the iconic quote that a uh, postal dude himself says. You know, I just really like the postal games and uh I think like uh the I regret nothing thing, like um it kinda uh, it kind of describes me a little bit well. I have no regrets. That's scout, by the way. Anyways, um, <sighs> but yeah, in case you don't know me, I like the Postal series. That's all you gotta know. Anyways, next question. All right, the absolute goat himself, Lean Machine, aka Niki, has asked: Would you personally want to experiment with other genres of videos other than theme songs? I don't know if I ordered that right. Don't worry, bro. Yes, you did. Yeah. Shout out to Niki, by the way. He's actually uh, my best friend in IRL. Shout out to him. And um, yes, I actually do plan on experimenting quite a bit with my uh, content. I've a I've actually been planning on doing it for like a long time. Like like uh, I already like do edits on like short on YouTube Shorts and all that. I already do like edits on there. You should most of you guys should probably go check them out. They're pretty good. <laughs> but I, I'm also like planning on like doing like commentary and like uh, top ten rankings and uh, so on. I'm really trying to like uh uh extend my reach more than just like doing theme song videos nowadays. Since you know, like I'm starting to like get like more and more people like watching my content and all that, and I'm pretty sure they want to be like entertained by something other than uh theme song videos. 
So yeah, I do plan on like experimenting my content, you know, like trying to extend my reach, uh, so I can like uh get more people to like try and sub to me and all that. But yeah. All right, Kinga from Kinga's backup channel has answered has a question. What animal do you think is underrated? And congrats on eight hundred subs, by the way. All right, first of all, thanks for congratulating me on uh reaching eight hundred subscribers. I really do appreciate that, and. uh which animal I think is underrated? Um, I never really answered my. I never really answered that question before. But if I really had to pick one, I would say narwhals because like uh, I think they're pretty cool. You know, they got the whole unicorn horn and all that, and they look like uh seals and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty much like the Jedi of the sea, and they stop Cthulhu from eating you. Can you get the reference to that? But yeah, but um, I don't really like see too much people like talk about narwhals, so I think that they're kind of underrated. Anyways, uh, next question. All right, here we have a whole bunch of questions by uh, My Deadly Adventure, uh, Discanero uh, RJ. Sorry if I uh, butchered that name, but uh, uh, he has like the uh, five whole questions, and uh, those questions are: What are your what YouTubers are your favorite, and who do you want to collaborate with in the future? What was your first ever anime, and what are your favorites? And question three: Who is your hero? And question four, who is your favorite superhero slash supervillain slash antihero? All right, so as for my favorite YouTubers, I actually like to have a, like a whole lot of favorite YouTubers that I actually watch. Like, uh, I actually like watch like a huge branch of like content. Like I watch commentary content, uh, gameplays, top 10 rankings, and yeah, and so on. I like I like uh, watching like most commentary YouTubers like Optimus, Tipster, and, um, and um, so on. So, um, yeah, if you like commentary content, I, I suggest you, like, go check those guys out. They're, like, a real big dude. They're, like, a real big in, like, the commentary community. And also, like, uh, uh, watching most YouTubers, like, Ray William Johnson. You know, he, he's, like, a real funny guy, you know. So go check him out. And uh, I think, like, most YouTubers that I watch, like, the Fall for Lies are, like, severely underrated. Like, I don't really see a whole lot of people talk about him that much. And he actually makes some pretty good t content as well. And he's actually, like, the reason why I wanted to, like, do, like, top 10, top 10 content in the future. And, uh, another, some more YouTubers that I like watching are, like, uh, one, are, like, Ty, is, like, Ty Records Lol, which is, like, at the end of his name. And, um, and, like, a uh, fun fact, like, in one of my, in one of my, uh, shorts, my edits, like, he actually, like, responded on one of them, which I, I got so hyped over since he was, like, one of my favorite YouTubers. And another like a YouTuber that I like watching is a uh, Classic Man D, who was like a uh, one of my uh, who's another one of my favorite YouTube Shorts creators. Oh yeah, and speaking of like uh, who I want to collab with, like I want to collab with like some uh, popular YouTube Shorts uh, creators, like a uh, Classic Man D who I mentioned earlier, cause like I kind of like the same stuff as he do. Like he's like like he like uh, talks about anime and all that, and I like uh, anime myself and like cartoons and all that. And I would also like to collab with Ty Ty Records because like uh because like uh <clears throat> um he's actually like a real funny guy you know, and I like watching like most of his uh shorts. They're really like burning up my day a whole lot. But yeah, but um that's um uh, that's like my favorite YouTubers and like who I wanted to collab with. I really hope I do get to collab with like uh some popular shorts creators in the future. All right, now uh the very first anime that I've ever watched um. Um, I'm pretty sure like this doesn't come to a surprise for like most people, but like uh, Pokemon was actually like the very first uh, actual anime that I watched. Yes, I'm talking about the Pokemon anime series. And at the time, I didn't really know it was like came from. It was like based off of like a game series, so I thought it was just like its own anime series. But I still think it, like, I still think it kind of counts as like an anime, and it was like the very first one I watched. Now, as for like my favorite anime, like. Uh, for a while, like, it was actually, like, Dra the Dragon Ball series that was my favorite anime series. But then, like, I started, like, getting into other anime series, like, uh, like One Piece. And now One Piece is not my favorite one. And, yeah, like, uh, I like One Piece for, like, a whole lot of reasons. Like, the world building, the characters. And, like, uh, it has some of the most coldest moments in all of anime history that I'm pretty sure, like, 90% of, of the anime community already knows. But, like, uh... But yeah, but in case you want to know what my favorite arc is, like so far, uh, my favorite arc in the series so far is Wano. Like my favorite arcs actually like switched like a whole lot. Like what, like when I first started watching, like it was Armand Park. Then when I started like uh, 
going further into the series, like started like a being like Marine for Alabaster Dress Rosa. But now, like currently, like as of right now, Wano is my favorite arc in the whole series. In case you were wondering. But yeah, that's my uh that was the very first animes I've ever watched and uh and um my favorite anime series yet. I plan on watching like more anime series like Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. I actually started watching Jujutsu Kaisen not like not too long ago, but I'm still on the first season though. I haven't really gotten that far into it. But I do plan on like watching more anime series as time goes on. Alright, now the net now the third one is kinda like an interesting question for me. So um like who is my hero? Like that's actually kind of an interesting one because like uh like um, I don't really remember like actually like looking up to people like um, like um. All right, so my goal is like I want to become like a professional video game designer in the future and maybe like uh do like uh some voice acting in like the industry and all of that. So, but I never really like looked up. I never like inherently like looked up to people like considered them like my hero and all that. But if I did have to like pick one, I would probably like say Tom Kenny, because like Tom Kenny, he's like one of the most popular voice actors of all time. I mean, the dude's freaking Spongebob. But yeah, but, um, like, like, um, sorry if it's not like a, if it's kind of like a short answer for me on my part, because, like, I, I inherently, like, never really, like, looked up to people when it comes to, like, my dream, my hopes and dreams and all of that, so, yeah. All right, so here's, like, a, the fourth one is a really good question for me, because, like, um, I'm, like, a real personal fan of, like, uh, Marvel and DC, and, like, uh, you asked, like, uh, what's my favorite superhero, supervillain, and, and, um, anti-hero. And, uh, first I'm going to start off with superhero, and, um, that's, and, and that's really an easy question for me, Spider-Man. Like, I've been reading Spider-Man comics ever since I was a kid, and, like, watching the TV shows and all that. And, like, I, 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 I kind of felt like Peter Parker to be kind of relatable to me, you know? He's, like, a nerdy dude who, like, doesn't really, like, fit in and all that. But he still, like, has, like, a good heart and still wants to help people. And I kind of, like, admire that trait about him, like, a whole lot. And I kind of wish, like, more more Spider-Man stories, like, focus on, like, uh, on kind of, like, focus on, like, who Peter Parker is as a person. And not just, like, have him, like, uh, like be, like, a all-knowing god and deity and all that. Which is pretty much, like, Marvel in a nutshell nowadays. Now, as for, like, my favorite super, super villain. Now, I like a whole lot of, like, DC villains, like Joker, Bane, and Lex Luthor. And uh, I like a whole lot of Marvel villains, like uh, <clears throat> like uh, Doctor Doom and Galactus. But um, you didn't really say like who, like if they were gonna be in, like Marvel or DC. So I would like, so I like to pick my favorite supervillain from like an anime, which is One Piece. And most of you guys may know who this is, Doflamingo. Like, like I like almost everything about Doflamingo, like his personality, his abilities, and his design. But most people say, like, most people, like, have, like, a whole lot of mysteries that they want to solve in One Piece. But me, personally, I want to know what's behind Doflamingo's glasses. And, and like, uh, I kind of like the mystery that was, like, surrounding him and, like, his powers before, like, we rented Dress Rosa and all that. Like, we didn't really know what his superpowers was or, like, who he really was as, like, a person and all that. And I will say, like, uh, Dress Rosa, I really did kind of like the Dress Rosa arc mainly because of, like, Doflamingo himself. He's just like a really interesting antagonist. And as for anti-hero, this is an easy one. I mean, he's literally like uh, one of my, he was literally like uh, my channel mascot and like the reason, and the reason why I like made like my OC character is Deadpool. Yes. <clears throat> like Deadpool, he's like a, like he was kind of like a gag character. Like, a, like at the same time, he's like kind of like serious, but at the same time, he's really not that serious. And and I just like really like reading his comments like like Deadpool he's like a really entertaining character and he's like and not only he's like my favorite antihero but he's like my favorite Marvel character all around. But yeah, um, glad I answered those uh, four questions for you, bro. All right, here we have another four questions. This time from uh, Kishia Leonardo. Uh, sorry if I didn't pronounce that name, but uh, but like um, uh, all right, so. Here's the questions. What is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite shipping? Um, I guess that means like uh what which ship do I like uh but uh and uh what is your opinion on Squid Game and what is your least favorite TV show? Alright, so my favorite holiday, like um, is Christmas and and like um the reason for that is because like we get presents and all that. And as a Christian man of faith, it's also like uh when Jesus is born. So yeah, I, I I really uh like Christmas. But um 
that's like a whole like um i don't really care too much about like holidays and what's so not but um i don't really mind the meter so yeah all right so my favorite shipping i really don't have a favorite shipping like i'm not really all for like uh shipping like fictional characters in general and all that especially into my hero fan base because yeah yeah anyways next question all right guys so uh bad news so um I'm editing this on CapCut currently, and um, it says, like, uh, like um, it's going to, like, take up way too much storage if I'm going to, like, answer almost everyone's questions in, like, one video. So, um, yeah, I guess you guys are going to have to wait for, like, part two of the Q&A or something whenever that comes out. But I promise it's going to, like, come out soon. But until then, see you later, X-Force.